In today's health alert, the summer COVID-19 wave is here. However, with many people experiencing shorter illnesses, the CDC reducing isolation from five days to just 24 hours. Is COVID now nothing more than a common cold? Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, is here to answer that. The CDC recently updated its guidelines for respiratory viruses and they've shortened COVID's five-day isolation time to 24 hours as long as symptoms are improving and the person has been fever-free without medication. However, the agency does recommend taking added precautions like wearing a mask for the next five days. So does this mean that we should treat COVID just like the common cold? And the answer is no. While many folks are having milder infections that last about three to four days, some are still being hospitalized and dying. So who's being hospitalized, right? Those at higher risk are older adults, those with weakened immune systems, people with chronic conditions, and those not up to date with their vaccines. The last statement is very important. Data shows that vaccines are very effective at prevent preventing severe illness. In fact, over 95% of folks hospitalized in 2023 and 2024 had not received the latest vaccine. Plus, the shots also help reduce the risk of long-term COVID-19. In fact, experts estimate that the vaccines are responsible for nearly three quarters of the drop in long-term COVID cases since the start of the pandemic, and they help suppress the viral load and boost the immune system's ability to clear the virus. Now, today's variants are less severe, right? And roughly 98% of our population has immunity, either from being vaccinated, being infected, or both. So it may be tricky to know if you have a cold or COVID-19 since so many folks with COVID report typical cold-like symptoms. While a sore throat is more, a more common sign, other symptoms include congestion, runny nose, dry cough, fatigue, and sometimes an upset stomach, vomiting or loose stools. But regardless, COVID is not the same as a cold. Unlike colds, COVID-19 can lead to serious illnesses and hospitalizations. While the virus might become less severe over time, we don't know for sure if it'll ever be as mild as a common cold. It's still a good idea to test if you have cold-like symptoms and stay away from vulnerable people. That's super important. For 7 News Detroit, I'm Dr. Partha Nandy. Thanks a lot, Doc. And this week on the Dr. Nandy Show, Dr. Nandy leads a powerful discussion on the merits of vaccinations for children. Joining him for the spirited debate, doctors, nurses, and activists. Tune in Sunday at 5 p.m. to watch Vaccines, Friend or Foe. We'll be tuning in.